welcome everybody. We're gonna go over some pro tips about how to do the Devin Gordon with randoms. Um, there's a lot of great videos out there. I'm not trying to knock any of those videos. They're great. This is just an add-on to those videos because there are some tips that are not being pointed out. And we're gonna point those tips out so that you can still watch those other videos, add this to it, you'll have a complete picture. I'm just gonna give you the information I got from watching the video that you just got done seeing. I'll be showing this video again at the end of this footage so you can put the information that you didn't have from watching it the first time and then information that you get from this to the second part and you can make your own assumptions. Now this doesn't work for everybody. Um, also all the training in the world that you do when poop hits the fan you're going to have to adjust and compromise and all this other stuff and that's perfectly fine. This isn't etched in a stone. This is just what my guild does when they do the Demon Gordon, <clears throat> they follow this routine, and they have great success with it. And if you're struggling with it, then perhaps this video will be really great. If you're one of those that doesn't have any problems with it, then this video isn't for you. But I do appreciate you taking the time and watching it. So with that in mind, we're going to discuss on how we do it. There are three phases we're going to go over. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. Uh, phase 1 will be kind of quick. Phase 2, yeah, probably just as quick. Phase 3 is the big one that we're going to point. So... Here in a second, I'm going to switch over to my brand new, super expensive, high-tech recreation uh, video software. Super high tech. So you guys can see exactly how this is planned. So we're going to go ahead and head over to that. And I'm going to show you quickly how we're going to do phase one. I'm going to try to do like a little um, John Madden football thing here i know there's not a lot of football fans out there i don't watch football anymore so that's a whole nother subject so let's get to the high-tech equipment that i just got super high tech all right what we're gonna do is when you start the game as well you're gonna see the white screen behind me that's cool anyways when you start you need to have a plan so when you get into it the arena or the battle area that this all takes place in is we're going to call it a circle. So phase one is going to have a circle. Blammo. Big circle. So in the circle of battle, you're going to have Demi Gordon over here or the, or the bad guy. Well, the phase one. This is going to be phase one. So I should put that on here. We're not going to take it like that. Okay. There we have phase one. So in phase one, you're going to have four portals to deal with. And this is important because these four portals are a lot stronger than they used to be. And more bad guys come out. And it's my understanding that these bad guys are more difficult. So with your team, you're supposed to have technically two tanks and two clerics or healers. Some people use wizards out here. So if I say cleric, I mean the person as a healer. And they need to have six DPS, okay? That's also important. What they're going to do is you're going to have three of them go to this side and three go to this side. So when you swoop in, three are going to break off this way. See this extra high-tech stuff? And then the other team's going to go here. And then, of course, your tank's going to go and do their own thing. It looks like I just made a really weird face there. And then your clerics are going to be, you know, there we'll put a cleric here. That's a C cleric there, but they don't have to do that. So we can go ahead and remove that. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and remove that. So that's that's the game plan for that. You get divide and conquer. This is only for phase, uh, phase one. Now let's see if we can do an overlap. All right, now, phase two. Go over phase two real quick. I don't have phase two. Two hours later. Ah, yes. <clears throat> phase two. You got your little door. You got this thing. And then over here, you got your door or entrance. And here you're going to have your yellow something. Like I said, I don't really play. So forgive me on that part. 
but there's like a yellow and black you have to deal with so we'll make that black that's easy enough and that's normal phase two stuff so you just do that one normal nothing new to add there so let's go ahead and move on to the big one phase three two hours later okay so here we're gonna have phase three now in phase three it's very important that the tanks walk the demi gordon to the portals so technically they need to make a circle okay now i know there'll be some variation in this that's fine i'm just trying to illustrate what happened on in the video you're going to go into a circle the tank is we have two of them they need to work together everybody needs to work together and work in conjunction and in, in conjunction with each other so the tank's going to go and move demigorn and he moves at different speeds kind of slow but you're going to walk him as best you can to the portal the reason why you do this is because if everybody splits up everybody has to attack the same portal and the same uh, demigorn at the same time and what i'm trying to get at is because so many portals are going to pop up and the bad guys are going to come out so much faster that if you guys split and everyone does their own thing, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to fail. And again, this is for random situations. You're in a random um, trial. This is a trial. Dungeon. Whatever. Right? Forgive me on that. So, you're going to have all the DPS have to agree on the exact same portal they want to hit. And some will go closer, some will go far, because some have range. Some are like barbs, and they don't have a whole lot of range. But you want to attack the same one. And while you're doing that, the tank's going to bring the Demigordon closer to that. So this way, if the Demigordon gets next to the portal, okay, we can draw that. You know, let's uh, let's do that. Let's do red. This is the Demigordon. I think, are the portals like blue or purple or something? I don't know. And this is the purple, that's sort of blue, I don't know. That'll be like the portal, okay? And then you got, um, let's go back to green. Then you got all your DPSs, you know, and they're all going to be attacking the same portal. And with the splash damage and the, and, the, and the range that you have on your weapon, hopefully they'll all be in the same circle. So while you're getting rid of the portal you're messing up the demi gordon as well and that's what you want to do once that portal's done then you're going to go to the next one um i don't remember exactly which location it goes to so this part of the sketch may be accurate may not but the point i'm trying to get to is when you get to the portal which is let's say this is the next one everyone wants to go to you guys are going to start attacking it and Let's say here we have some barbs, so they got to go all in it. We got three barbs, and let's change the color to brown. And we're going to say those are like you know wizards or rangers, and they have distance or whatever. But everyone's going to be attacking this portal now, and the tank once again is going to try to get the demi gordon over to here. So this way, all the splash damage will be attacking so it's like two birds one stone and this is the same pattern you want to do over and over because you have to wipe out those portals because if you don't um you said blue right more portals are going to pop up more portals and you're gonna get all kinds of bad guys in there you're not gonna see look at this high-tech stuff super high tech you can get all that and you're not going to be able to do um do the mission and you're gonna fail pretty good pretty quick okay so the other thing i want to mention is this is for phase three once you get to phase three and with randoms once you get down to two bars and that's the picture you're gonna see there once you get two down on two bars you're gonna forget everything forget the portals forget the other bad guys everyone's gonna focus all of their energy all of their power all of their weapons all their might um anything else i can repeat to the demi gordon and you're going to attack that now you have tunnel vision you're going to use that uh make sure you guys have your potions and all that stuff uh i'm going to come back to that in a moment as well but everyone's going to focus all their power on the demi gordon because once the demi gordon is dead then nothing else matters and it's over and you completed your mission so you don't have to worry about the portals once it gets to two and this is how my guild does it 
they have great success with it if you guys want to try it that way if it works if you have another way that works that's fine this video wasn't for you i do appreciate you checking it out but if you're struggling with random people because you know i mean everyone's got lives it's hard to get the same group every time so once if you can't do that this is a good alternative and this works and they have great success about it and from what i understand from what i hear they don't really complain when they get to work with each other and do it and everything just works really well so that tells me that their plan works and they've been playing this game a lot longer um, than I have now now what I want to stress and this is for all players okay I mentioned ones that were weaker and that would be me I'm a weak player but this is a good thing to have for all whoopsies all players make sure you guys have plenty of health potions make sure you have the Stone of Hell, if you can have that. I believe that's a new thing, so I don't think I have that. But that's one of the newer things. Make sure you have that. And of course, if you have scrolls, make sure you have them. Because if things go away and things don't work well, then you can get one-shotted really easily. I would assume, like, I do a lot of shooter games. That's about getting shot in the head. One-shot, headshot. That seems similar. But thanks for uh, bearing with me. So we're going to show that video you saw again. Um, we're going to watch it again, but now you have the new information to add to it so you can see what the this team was doing, how they were handling things. And I wanted to share that with you because the guild really wants to share the information. It makes it easier for other guild members to be able to catch on because trying to explain it to people over and over and over again um, can get, well, monotonous and over. So this is, this is a quick, easy reference. So hopefully this works out for everybody. Hope it worked out for you. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching it on my channel. I appreciate it. And without further ado, let's watch that video again. And I will see you guys on the next Neverwinter video. And feel free to leave a comment and any tips, anything I left out to help make video to make this more, um, these challenges a whole lot easier to pass. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. See you on the next one. is emerging from the abyss of terror.
Okay, cut that part out. Yeah. 